Welcome to CIE Math Solutions. In this video, we will explore the square of a binomial of the form ax plus b squared using the algebraic identity a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, which is the fastest and easiest way. Welcome to another video of CIE Math Solutions. In the previous videos, we explored the visual and geometric proof of the algebraic identity a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. We also have shown the derivation of the identity a plus b squared. The link for those videos are on the description below and on the upper part of this video. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and click the bell button for you to be notified when new videos are uploaded. If you have already subscribed, please like the videos of this channel. Moving on in today's video, we will explore the use of the algebraic identity a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared in squaring any binomials of the form ax plus b squared. But before we proceed, let us recall the prerequisite concepts needed in squaring the binomial. First is the algebraic identity a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. In the expanded form, the first term is the square of the first term of the binomial. The last term of the expanded form is the square of the second term of the binomial. And lastly, the middle term of the expanded form is twice the product of the terms of the binomial. The next prerequisite concept is the multiplication law of indices, which states that the product of two terms of the same base, say x raised to m, and x raised to n multiplied is equal to the same base raised to the sum of its indices or powers, that is x raised to m plus n. For example, if you want to multiply x raised to 4 times x raised to 3, that will be equal to x raised to 4 plus 3, which is equal to x raised to 7. If you want to multiply x raised to 5 and x raised to 7, that is equal to x raised to 5 plus 7, which is equal to x raised to 12. Let us now proceed to the examples of squaring binomials of the form ax plus b. There will be four examples with the variation of the signs of the first term and the second term of the binomial. We will have both of them positive. We will have one of them is positive and one is negative and we will have both of them negative. Starting off with example number one, find the expanded form of 2x plus 3 squared. We will use the algebraic identity a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared as a guide in expanding the square of the given binomial. From our given binomial, the first term is represented by a, which is 2x. The second term represented by b is 3. Again, a is equal to 2x and b is equal to 3. Let us substitute the values of a and b on the expanded form a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. a squared is the square of the first term 2x. That will be written as 2x squared. 2ab is twice the product of the two terms of the binomial. We can write it as 2 times 2x times 3. b squared is the square of the last term 3. 
and write it as 3 squared. Now let us simplify each term of the expanded form, starting with 2x squared. Using the multiplication law of indices, or the power to a power law of indices, 2x raised to 2 is 2x times 2x. That will give us 4x squared. The second term is 2 times 2x times 3. 2 times 2x is 4x times 3. That will give us 12x. The last term is the square of 3, which is equal to 9. Therefore, 2x plus 3 squared is equal to 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. Since we already know that A is the first term and B is the second term, we can now do the expansion in a faster manner. Let us use an acronym for this. S for the square of the first term, 2P for, the, for twice the product of the terms, and another S for the square of the second term. This acronym is my own acronym for the process. You may use your own version if you want to. Again, A is equal to 2x and B is equal to 3. Following the acronym, S is the square of the first term, that is 2x squared, which is equal to 4x squared. 2P is twice the product of the terms, that is equal to 12x. 2x times 3 times 2 is equal to 12x. And then s is the square of the last term, 3. That will give us 3 squared, which is equal to 9. Therefore, 2x plus 3 squared is equal to 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. For the second example, we will expand 2x minus 3 squared. Following the algebraic identity a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, we will identify first a that will give us 2x and b is negative 3. Substituting these values on the expanded form, we will have the square of the first term that will be 2x squared twice the product of the two terms that will be 2 times 2x times negative 3, and the square of the last term, which is negative 3 squared. Simplifying the terms of this expanded form, 2x raised to 2 is equal to 4x squared. Second term will be 2 times 2x times negative 3. That will give us negative 12x. And negative 3 raised to 2 is equal to positive 9. Therefore, 2x minus 3 squared is equal to 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. Now let's do this example in a faster way using the acronym S, 2P, and S. We know that A is 2x and B is negative 3. S is the square of the first term. So we will be having 2x squared. That will give us 4x squared. 2p means twice the product of the two. 2x times negative 3 is equal to negative 6 times 2. That will give us negative 12x. And the square of the last term is negative 3 raised to 2, which will give us 9. Therefore, 2x minus 3 squared is equal to 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. Moving on to the next example. This time, we will be expanding negative 2x plus 3 raised to 2. Following again the algebraic identity, we will have a negative 2x and b positive 3. a squared is the square of negative 2x raised to 2. 2ab will now be 2 times negative 2x times 3 b squared will now be 3 squared. Simplifying each of these terms, negative 2x 
squared is equal to 4x squared. 2 times negative 2x is negative 4x times 3, that will give us negative 12x. 3 squared is equal to 9. Therefore, negative 2x plus 3 raised to 2 is equal to 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. We can do this also in the faster way. So again, s, 2p, and s. The value of a is negative 2x, and the value of b is positive 3. s is the square of the first term, negative 2x squared, or negative 2x times negative 2x. That will give us 4x squared. 2p means twice the product of the two terms. Negative 2x times 3 is equal to negative 6x times 2, that will be negative 12x. And the last s is the square of the last term, which is 3. 3 squared is equal to 9. Therefore, negative 2x plus 3 raised to 2 is equal to 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. Our last example is the expansion of negative 2x minus 3 squared. Following the identity, a is negative 2x, b is negative 3, a squared is again the square of the first term, that will be negative 2x raised to 2, 2ab is twice the product of the two terms, 2 times negative 2x times negative 3, and the last term, which will be negative 3 raised to 2. Simplifying, negative 2x raised to 2 is equal to 4x squared. Negative 2x times 2 times negative 3 is 12x. And negative 3 squared is equal to positive 9. Therefore, negative 2x minus 3 squared is equal to 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. If we would like to do it in a faster way, let us again identify s, 2p, and s. s is the square of the first term. That will be the negative 2x, which will give us 4x squared. 2p is twice the product of the two terms. 2 times negative 2x times negative 3. That will give us positive 12x. And the last one is the, last, the square of the last term. Negative 3 raised to 2 is equal to positive 9. Therefore, negative 2x minus 3 squared is equal to 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. Summarizing the binomials that we have expanded, 2x plus 3 raised to 2 is equal to 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. The second is 2x minus 3 squared. It's equal to 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. Third is negative 2x plus 3 squared which is equal to 4x squared plus minus 12x plus 9. And the last example is negative 2x minus 3 squared, which is equal to 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. The questions for today are the following. How can we expand the square of any binomial the fastest way? Are there any other ways on how to expand the square of binomials? If you have answers to these questions, please write them down on the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos on math proofs and derivations, math tutorial videos, solve items from international exams, math tricks and puzzles, math resources and more, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much.